Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Now, it's your boy Terrence Carter, TC Talks, TC Fitness, and I am here, back at it again with another video. Today's video is going to be about what I wish I knew before starting semen retention and no fat. And this is just off a of personal experience, you know what I'm saying? This video, I need y'all to, to, to feel me on this. Because semen retention and no fat, bro, it goes crazy. I'm not even going front, bro. Like, I wish I knew so much things before I even started this experience. But being that I'm on it, and I I really like understand it so much more, I'm gonna share that information with y'all. Now, of course, before I even start today's video off, thank you to all the new supporters on the channel. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all seeing like, I don't mind being vulnerable on camera and telling y'all how I really feel, bro. Like, a lot of people be fearing that. They fear opinions, they fear what other people think. Especially like putting videos on YouTube, bro. Like, once you put your video on YouTube, that's it. You're going to have people that's going to watch. They're going to comment. They're going to feel a certain type of way. They probably not even going to care what you're going through. But at the end of the day, bro, like, I appreciate those that, that do tune in on the content. And I appreciate y'all for, for not judging me. Real talk. And even if you do, Kick rocks. <laughs> Feel me? Shout out to everybody, of course, on their semen retention and no fab journey. And um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, straight into the video, bro. There's a lot of things that I wish that I honestly knew, like before starting semen retention and no fab. But one of the biggest things that I wish I knew is that um I wish I knew that I'm not trying to say like we're separated, cause at the end of the day, like, separation is a real-life illusion. But I just noticed, like, I, bro, I'm not the same. Like, I'm not the same me that I was, like, years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not even in that vibration and that frequency anymore. And I wish that I knew, like, semen retention was really going to keep like, it keeps your vibration and your frequency so high no matter what you're going through. Like, it is... I get it, bro. Like, we live in a world where it's so it's so easy for you to think so, like think negative or, or think like things not going your way or whatever the case may be. But I swear, bro, like, senior attention really just keeps you on a, a positive mindset for real. Like, it, it, it keeps you having... So much hope and faith, and you're not living in such like the well. You feel me? You know how sometimes like we dwell on the past, or like we we will say to ourselves like, oh, "I wish I would have did this, or I wish I would have did that." Bro, like I live so in the present that whatever decisions I make, that's the that's the decision I make. Real talk, and like I don't I don't be like. Stressing and stuff. Because stress kills. You know what I'm saying? I remember like even in my beginning stages for real, when I first started seeing my attention and no fact, it was tough for me. I tell y'all all the time, bro. Like it was super duper tough for me mentally, you know, spiritually, physically. It was tough for me to really stop watching, you know, PMO. But... But I look back and I'm like, damn, like all of those things is just excuses. That's all that it is. It's an excuse for you to relapse. For you to for you to go watch PMO. But there is no excuses on this experience for real, bro. It's just adapting and adjusting to being on retention and taking it serious. Like serious, serious. Another thing that I wish that I knew before semen retention and no fat is that it'll be really, really rare. 
Bro, it's gonna be super rare for you to find a woman that's gonna respect your journey on semen retention and no fat. It's gonna be rare for you to find that. Why? Because women are used to us men releasing our seed. That's what they're accustomed to. That's what they're used to. But you also gotta attract that woman into your life that's gonna respect your journey. That's gonna respect your experience. And the universe showed me that. I attracted a solid woman into my life. A friend, a best friend. And she respected my journey. She respected my experience for her. And if you're a man out there and you, you find or you attract a woman into your life that will respect it, if you find that woman, cherish that for real. Because us on semen retention and no fat, bro, we are rare. Do you understand how rare you are walking this planet with energy in your vessel on a day-to-day -day basis, no longer being addicted to porn, no longer being addicted to releasing your seed? Do you understand and understand how rare you are? It's not ego. It's spirit. It's living from the soul. That's rare. A woman is not even used to a man talking about retention and no fat. You can educate her. You can enlighten her. You are enlightening yourself on semen retention. You're experimenting this for yourself. Science don't need to tell you how powerful retention is. You are the science. I'm seeing this on a day-to-day -day basis with my own life force energy how powerful this experience is, bruh. I'm having the most randomest talks with God on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanking God randomly. Just random moments. Thank you for this experience. Because it helps me handle things in life way more, way more better. It helped, it forced me to grow mentally. It's forcing me to grow mentally. It's forcing me to, 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 to break out of, you feel me? The shell that porn had me in, bro. It's forcing me to break out of that. It's forcing me to become more confident in myself and just, it's all energy. Energy is everything, bruh. Another thing that I, I wish I knew before senior retention, no fact, is that, uh, uh, like a lot of your friends, like they really real life might think that you're weird for being on senior retention and no fact. I ain't going for it, bro. Like, I'm going to keep real trying, bro. Like a lot of your friends or if you got family members or whatever, like they really might think you're weird. But you're not weird. <laughs> like, like, bro, like it's it's so crazy how they got us like brainwashing this matrix for real. You're not weird for for self-improvement. You're not weird for breaking bad habits. Porn was a bad habit of mine. Releasing my seed, terrible habit of mine. It was shrieking my creative energy, my drive, my motivation. It was dumbing me down. Real life stuff, bro. Like, I will always ask myself, like, why do I feel so tired? Why am I so angry? Why is my attitude so trash towards life? Duh, you watching porn, bro. You desensitizing yourself. You doing it to yourself. But the reason why they're going to think that you're weird is because, like, a lot of men not willing to try it. A lot of men, like, the first thing they tell themselves is, oh, I, I can't do that, my boy. I, I can't do that. Oh, I, I got I to gotta release my seed. When I'm with my woman, I got to release. You see how you keep telling yourself you can't do something? I'll be telling myself every day I can do it. Why not? It costs me zero dollars and zero cents to retain my seed. It's helping my body heal. It's giving me mental clarity. It's giving me unlimited energy for life. Why not? It's helping me get stronger. I have way more endurance. Bro, do you walk around for eight hours, nine hours a day? Do you do that? Would you do that five days a week, six days a week? Would you do that seven days straight? To go out there and hustle to take care of yourself? To take care of your basic needs? Because right now, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, bro. Like, my scooter still got a flat. I ain't get it fixed yet. YouTube is my side hustle. I know I told y'all in the previous video, YouTube is my full-time job. YouTube ain't been paying me nothing. That's impossible for YouTube to be my full-time job if I haven't gotten paid. 
That's impossible. And that's the real, bro. Like, I got paid. Last time I got paid was in February. We in April. YouTube will be my full-time job one day. But right now, man, it's my part-time job. Uber is my full-time job. And then I got the stock market. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I really just been, why not just do both? The best thing that can happen is that people subscribe, people watch the video. Sometimes people watch an ad, cool. The worst thing that can happen, nobody subscribes, nobody watches the video, nobody likes the, likes the video. At the end of the day, my life continues. But like I said, bro, like, it's just being on retention, it just, it forces me to put that passion into your YouTube channel regardless of what's going on. Put that drive into your YouTube channel. Put all that energy into yourself, into you. Because I owe it to myself. If I wasn't on senior retention, no fact, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. I wouldn't be out here making podcasts. I wouldn't do none of that. I would have been chasing pleasure. But you see, this is why I'm thankful for retention because it's keeping me focused. It's keeping me hungry. It's keeping me driven. It has shown me how God can really bless you Keep you in that blissful state of mind if you just stay focused. If you focus on yourself. If you use your own sexual energy to put it into different areas of your life. God is always going to make sure that you're good. Because it's, it, like sex is one thing, bro. Like That's one thing in life. But what are you going to do outside of that? That's just the real. And like I said, bro. like Your friends, your family members... Even a woman that you may try to talk to, bro, like, she might think that you're weird for trying to be on senior retention. But this is why I respect the woman that I was with. She never judged me about that. She respected my journey. Always, bro. And I will always respect her for that. I will always respect myself as well. Don't care about what other people think. Don't. Don't care if they think you're weird for retaining if your friends think that, so what? Ask them. Ask your friend why you can't stop watching porn. Ask your friend that. Ask your friend why you can't stop releasing your seed. Why do you keep telling yourself you can't do something? Ask them that and then walk away. Or ask them that and then see the reaction. Because nine times out of ten, they're going to be like, oh, it's because I don't want to. Well, okay. Well, I want to I want to hold on to my seed. I want to freaking continue to be porn free, bro. That's your personal choice. If you don't want to be porn free, if you want to keep on releasing your seed and draining your life force energy, then that's your choice. At the end of the day, it's out of my control. I don't care. What you do with yourself is what you do with yourself. What I do with myself is what I do with myself, right? I know what works for me, and I know what's going to always benefit me. And I'm telling y'all from experience, you need to retain your seed. You need to stop watching porn, but at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do. It's all up to you. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Subscribe to the channel if you know. Because we're almost at 4,000. And we're almost at 5,000, basically, bro. But, <clears throat> y'all really helping me reach my goals, for real. I'm not going to front, bro. We're almost at 4,610. So, I appreciate that. But, like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Tim Carter. I'm going to have more videos for y'all. Yes, sir.